Okay, I'm out of mealworms, so I'm gonna have to go get some more mealworms, but I'm gonna need this container for today's video. So let's dump out all the mealworm substrate. All right, guys, so today we are going to be putting my Histocrates gigas from this enclosure into this enclosure. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because I keep my Histocrates gigas kind of damp, right? And I don't have cleanup crews in the enclosure. So as you can see, there's kind of like mold around the place. I'm not a big fan of that. So I'm just going to be getting her out just to play safe. Since I have an empty enclosure, why not just put her in, right? She's definitely not going to be in a happy mood. So yeah, going to have to be very, very careful. And it's also an old world. He's created gigas. So I am not actually looking forward to this. Going to have to be super extra careful because if she comes out at me, <laughs> and of course, I've already started to make a big mess. <sighs> so much for trying to keep this room clean, huh? It's okay. It's okay. I saw her out yesterday. Oh boy. I don't see her. That's not... Oh, you freaking... You know what? I At this point, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> I'll sweep that later. Oh boy. So now I'm going to have to... Uh, where is she? Oh, there she is. I see her. You see her abdomen over there? Yep. When I take out this plant, we will be able to see her fully. And yeah, as you can see, there's mold inside. So I am not a big fan of that. Hello, she's not a big fan of me as well. <laughs> and there's a dead roach over there, which is not good. She is huge, man. She is absolutely massive. You see the mold? Yeah. So that's why we're going to be taking her out just to play safe. I don't want to risk another of my female tarantulas oh boy oh boy okay wait hey girl hello come on get out all right at least she is not in a bad mood sorry about that i'm okay what are you doing girl come on out can you imagine if she runs up my tongs and just bites me oh gosh that will not be good all right girl Oh, she, she, now she wants to be stubborn, huh? <sighs> oh gosh, this is not going as I planned. Come on, it's no time to be stubborn now! This is a big problem because this enclosure is so small that I can't, like, film and... Oh my gosh, girl, what are you doing? Ah, oh, such a pain! Get out! This is such a pain, man. Seriously. Seriously! Well, I hate when they just like stick themselves to the side. It's so annoying. But, yeah. Girl. Man. Look at the mold, though. Not a big fan of that. I don't know if I should like wait for her to loosen up and then take her out. I don't know if she even will because she's already in a stressed mood. So... Yeah, look at her legs, man. Look at that. All right, let me show you what's in this enclosure first. So basically, it's just a wood and then a very, very deep burrow for her to go in because these guys, they love to burrow. As you can see over here, this was her entrance to her burrow. So it's pretty much essentially, it is the same thing. It's just a fresher enclosure. Let's plop the water dish over here first. There we go. Oh my gosh, how am I going to get her out? Get out, girl. Freaking like... Oh my gosh, she's literally like pushing herself towards the end of the enclosure and I cannot like stick my brush in to get her to budge. Get out girl, come on, get out. There you go. Are you out? Yeah, all right. Now please come out. I would appreciate if you come out of the enclosure so we can move you. All right, go, go there, go, go. There we go, go. Up you go, up you go. Man, look at her, look at her size. She is absolutely massive. Oh no, please don't, don't stick yourself. Oh my gosh. Now she's stuck over here. Get down, girl. Get the freaking hell, man. Seriously, get, move. I'm being gentle, don't worry. Just 
she won't budge she is so stubborn oh mm, get off get off what are you doing seriously man i've not had an experience of such a stubborn baboon in my life and the problem with this enclosure is there's so many so much backgrounds i can't like get the container into copper i guess i just gotta like get her out like somehow this brush is like super soft so no worries oh boy do i have to just come on girl what are you doing seriously it's time to move time to move come on i'm being gentle with you so please be cooperative and gentle with me okay this is not the time to play games i do not want you to like die or anything so come on get out here we go yeah there we go man for a baboon you are one oh my gosh you freaking serious man into the burrow wow wow just freaking wow man <sighs> you see she is like now i can't locate her i didn't even know she had a burrow in here what on earth now i don't know where this burrow even leads to wow she has got this all planned out huh way more planned out than i have okay gonna have to slowly dig her out i guess got my spoon problem is i don't know if the burrow like goes in here or it's just like over here uh, seriously girl seriously You're gonna make life difficult for me oh my gosh now the burrow is collapsed and i can't even locate her oh my gosh uh, why do i do this to myself where's the burrow even going Oh, wait, wait, I think I know where she is. I think, I think she's right here. Yep, get out, girl. Get out. Come on. I, I don't, I don't know where she, I mean, she's under here, but I don't know how to like get her out. I just scoop her, like, put mine. Come on, get out. There you are. There you are. There you are. Get out. It is time. To come out girl it is time to get a new better enclosure come on surprisingly she is not defensive which is sweet look at how big she is now the problem is uh, trying to get her into a new enclosure where are you going girl where are you going Woo! Woo! she's big she's big oh boy she's big but thankfully, she's not being defensive. But she is definitely giving a real task for me. Oh boy. Okay. Chill. I don't want to get bit by you, okay? Oh man. The things I do. Okay. Go. There you go. There we go. Whew. Finally. So as you can see... She has pretty much gone into her deep burrow over there. <sighs> All right. Man, what a pain to rehouse. This is the, the, the hardest baboon rehouse I have ever experienced, but it would have been worse if she was being very defensive. So that was a good part. She was pretty chill. So yeah, guys, um, I guess that'll be it for this. <laughs> this video i'm gonna have to clean out this enclosure wash everything and use new substrate for a future tarantula and of course i'm gonna have to like clean up the room again <sighs> so yeah anyways <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video take care and have a good one yeah you can see her right there yeah that's right come out to explore this is officially your new enclosure so learn to like it look at the wood that was in our enclosure pretty moldy gonna have to thorough clean this i'm gonna boil this wood like throw hot water on it and just let it soak just so it'll kill anything that is bad inside the wood for the next tarantula but for now i'm gonna have to clean my floor so i'll just toss everything back into the enclosure first and then 
and I can finally <sighs> always making a big mess. Maybe I could put like a big newspaper or something. I don't know, man. 